Ace. Uh, you, Aces, you do know a bit about Pierce Jarrell. He's known to be a very flashy free captain. Uh, and you've heard that it's his, the eye that he wears his eye patch over seems to change on a daily basis. Um, <laughs> you've um, also heard quite publicly that he's been looking for a new lover. Okay. Mm, um, okay. Male or female? They... So yeah, he's he's known to basically just be into whoever will spend time with him. Okay, yeah, well, that's nice. Anything that moves, huh? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that was really any, insulting. Any one, you know, kind of specifies a humanoid. Uh, anyway. uh, humanoid? All right, uh, I will introduce myself as uh, Free Captain and Master Scourge. He's like, ah, I've heard of you, Scourge. Yes, of course, of course. Well, how are y'all? <laughs> Scourge is trying real hard not to chuckle. Am I not doing um, this right? <laughs> the trick is not to try. It'll come naturally. He, that, when you say that, he turns and looks at you, Agashog. He's like, is that a 4710 M1-2? Step out of the way. Why? Why, yes, it is. <laughs> Yeah, so he's just like trying to take it from you. He's just like, okay, let me let me take a look at that there. Uh, sorry, we're kind of attached at the shoulder, as it were. He's like, oh come on, then I'm not gonna steal your gun in the middle of the Riptide Alehouse, now am I? Everyone could see me do it. It'd be ridiculous. I'm just gonna right, uh, show listen. Me... I can you show, show you a yours? few things. Yeah, you show me yours, I'll show you mine. He's like, well, I don't have a gun. He gestures to, like, he, he does it in a very strange way. He just, like, puts his hand on his chest and gestures to the giant belt of dynamite he's wearing. He's like, I'm more <laughs> of a demolition man. Well, let me handle a couple of sticks of dynamite, then. <laughs> okay, yeah, he, like, pulls one out. He's like, you... he looks at you strangely. He's like, so you want to handle my stick, then? And you can tell he's giving you the covert, like... <laughs> Is it okay? Yeah, he's just giving you the, is it okay to approach this conversation? Are you cool with it? Or are we just going to be, like, gun buddies? No. Okay. No, not yeah. this conversation. Just right. gun buddies. Yeah, so he takes your gun, and he's like, do you file the safety off of this thing? Ah, uh, yes, I did, actually, uh, when I first got it. That's dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Well, I see that you've improved. Well, when you're firing underwater, when you're firing underwater you can't afford to have it jam on you. He's like, of course, makes perfect sense given your race. Did you shave a couple millimeters into the barrel there? I see that you've improved the cylinder load. Oh, yeah, I've done it. Look at the shape of this mechanism. You've been using paper cartridges, haven't you? Just absolutely gums up the works. So he I hands you the rifle the back. Thing. He's like, oh, paper cartridges. What sort of monster to, are you? I try to keep it clean. Do the best I can. Have you I heard of the new the bullet that they've been working on at Alkinstar Gunworks? Really fascinating stuff. Goes in about the size of the end of your thumb. On the far side, comes out the size of a melon. Very large melon. You talk about the metal cartridges. <clears throat> no, no. It's some sort of magical round. They call it the spatter round. Tends to cause a lot of splatter. Oh. It's nearly instantly fatal. Hmm. Yeah, as far as I can tell from the engineers, it sounds a lot like uh, an arrow of slaying in bullet form. Really fascinating stuff what they're working on there. Truly top notch. That's very interesting. And I, after examining the way to diamond, like you have this very well balanced. Here you go. <laughs> He's just like, well, of course. I'll have to look. I'll yeah. Have so to look into that he splatter. he sits down at your table. Does anybody object or, like, kick a chair away from him? Or just, like, the seat's taken? No, he seems like a guy that's willing to uh, talk and, and share information, so... I think you're muted, Craig. Yep, still muted. Said he hadn't shot at us or tried to kill nope. us, and we are here to meet nope. free captains, so what the heck? Pull <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll even... I'll even buy the first round. Oh, you buy the first round. So, yeah, yeah. You, you signal a serving wench to bring you around, and she brings you some gut-punch rum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I ask her, do you have any Dorvin anything? <laughs> She's like, I we do. Got plenty of Dwarven ale. Perhaps you'd like I'd... some Dwarven rum? Uh, Fire just whiskey? The... Just the ale. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, she draws you Fire up some whiskey. air. Pierce Joel is like, I'll take a 4710 Absalom white. The fallow, not the red, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and like, okay. as he's talking to you, there's there's like the open candles in the middle of every table, and he's leaning forward, and his sticks of dynamite are like getting towards the candles, and he's like, "So, gentlemen, what is your business in the Riptide Ale House tonight? Just come to and celebrate your new town fame." And I just take I guess the we should candle pull ourselves around the table. Forward. I move it toward my end of the table first. <laughs> On the other side. He's like, oh, this is perfectly safe. Don't worry. It's long fuse dynamite. If the fuse gets lit, it's going to only burn at a rate of, well, uh, approximately one inch a minute. It'll be perfectly fine. I'd have to get it lit at, right at the edge. All the same? Thanks. Taking precautions. <laughs> he, so he's just like it. laughs and kicks his feet up on the table and then just does this and then points to where your safety used to be on your rifle. Oh, that's different. And then he makes this, this, this. <laughs> <laughs> it sure it is. <laughs> it's all different. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys talk to him for a short time. I suspect you're going to ask him about jobs. In the... Yeah, we'll just kind of yeah. we'll work our way around to the subject of what's going on. Sure. Uh, while you're like circling in on that conversation, can I have everyone make a perception check? Let's see if I roll good. Uh, my screen's loading right hey. now. Hey! I rolled good. Uh, what did I freeze? Nice! All right, so it looks like we got a eight from Agraja. No, no, no. Uh, thirty-three from Agraja. Twenty-eight from Scourge. Fourteen from Alaris. And Dom is My currently. Lagging. Yeah. Lagging out. All right, mm -hmm. so uh, so far everyone but Alaris sees this woman approaching the table. She looks Ooh. really familiar. She didn't have the eye patch last time. But you do recognize her from the Wormwood. Her name is Kulki Tarun. She was the cabin girl for Captain Barnabas Harrigan. And it looks like she's carrying a vial. She passes by your table, and you get a whiff of cinnamon coming from the vial. Very distinct. <clears throat> she sees you guys looking at her, <clears throat> and she just goes completely pale and starts shaking. And then someone on the tavern floor goes, Hey! Someone drug my drink! And throws the drink out over his shoulder and hits a woman in the face with it, a serving girl, and she just, like, takes her tray and slams it into his face. Within seconds, the whole bar is filled with a fight. What do you guys want to do? Uh, okay, she obviously recognized us. Oh, yeah, um, definitely. She recognized you. Oh, there's my perception. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess I am really the only remaining. I sure, but you also is. have a uh, a reputation as a murderous cutthroat who stole stuff from paladins and <laughs> might have a grudge against the people who <laughs> drugged him and threw him on a ship. Yeah. Does she make an attempt to, to skin her away? What are you doing? I mean, she's just kind of staring at you real quick. And she's, that's where she's actually at, is downstairs over there? No, she's, no, she's, she's literally standing, table. like, right next to you. Okay. In she's in the, the doorway right. with the vial out. It looks like she was about to tip something into Alaris' drink. Like, casually do it, but everyone but yeah. Alaris noticed it. All right. Uh, <laughs> then I'm going to try to jump up and grab her. Okay. Yeah, you do. And she's like, whoa, I didn't have nothing to do with that. I see. Sit down with her. us. Pierce Jarrell is like, no, we can't sit down with her. we got to get out of here. The MPs are going to be here shortly. Shore Patrol is going to beat the hell out of everyone in the tavern. All right. I'll drag her along with us. Okay. Uh, how are you guys I... leaving? Wait a minute. Does she have an I'll object ask. on her? Does she have what? Uh, Any objects on her? Uh, what do you, well, she's wearing clothing, and she has 
the vial full of cinnamon knockout, which is the drug they've been using to drug sailors. No, I want to. I want to arcane mark something before I can later maybe okay. locate object as she gets away. Okay. Well, she's. Yeah, like, what are you arcane marking? That's why I was asking what kind of object she had on her. That she's wearing clothes. Yeah. iPad. That eye patch is pretty distinctive. Yeah. Why not? You literally just gonna walk up and rub your hand on her eye patch for six seconds? <laughs> Give me a sec. Let me see if I have to. Yeah, um, you have to touch it. Put it on touch her clothes that. or on her back or something as we're walking out. Yeah, I do that. As we're oh, I'll, that. I'll ask Jorel if there's a back door that we can get out. Uh, like one. He's like, there's a balcony. If we jump from chandelier to chandelier over here, we can make our way out without interrupting any of the fights. Oh my what God. about the back door? Or we could just walk down the stairs and go out. Yeah, that. so that that whole area down here is completely filled with people brawling. And you hear someone, like, blowing a whistle, and they're like, short patrol. And that is the front door? And looks The front like... door is in the south end. Oh, okay. All right, so I'll... Uh, Pierce Jarrell just... looks at you, Scourge, and he's like, Aren't you willing to take the incredibly risky and pointless tactic of jumping from chandelier to chandelier? And he immediately starts running and just like swinging from chandelier to chandelier, singing the song by Sia, Chandelier, in the process. He's like, I'm going to swing from the chandelier. <laughs> uh, All right. Can I'll I take uh... 10 on these acrobatics checks? Yes. All right, I'll take I'll... 10 for 26. Yep, you go right behind him. He, like, turns right. around. He crashes through a window and, like, rolls out. And so we're, like, following him on side cam. And then, like, the side cam goes through the wall and follows, like, the shards of glass as he goes out. He comes into a roll and, and like, three points it. And then you do the same thing behind him. He's like, I knew there was a reason I liked you, boy. <laughs> what are the rest of the All party right. doing? Um, I asked Scourge the party, will... do y'all want to jump? No. So? Yeah, the, no. Kalki's like, I'm not jumping anywhere. <laughs> um, I'll, Scourge will ask Agrija, I mean uh, Aces and Alaris to bring her along and he'll walk over here and jump over the railing and just bull rush people out of the way okay can you make a CMB check uh, CMB yep, sure. you're making a CMB versus a mob yep but they're all kind of so you should be fine uh, yeah you do okay fine. yeah you push people out of the front of the door uh, Agrajog, Aces, what are you guys doing? I'm sorry, Ag no, not Agrajog, Alaris and Aces. I was going to cast uh, Sanctuary on myself and also the uh, Eye Patch Lady because ah. the Commodore requested it and uh, to es escort her safely. So okay. then I was. So you're literally like. I am your lord. And you're just like walking between people. Someone tries to punch you in the face and they're like, wait, maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, but I do it with more like, you know, grins and winks and like, you know, like. Right, but it's I'm sanctuary. Gonna... So they have to like test their will in order to hit you. But yeah, you're yeah. like, hey, what's happening? Maybe you hit a jukebox on your way out. Oh, yeah. Hit it with yeah. the elbow, you know, a couple times, like, you know. Aces, what are you doing? Because apparently, uh, so the thing is, Alaris might be invincible during this, but Kalki isn't. So someone's got to physically escort her out at some point. Or she's can I just use acrobatics? To, can I acrobatics to try to get her through there? Or yeah, you're you're, okay. you're doing the bodyguard thing where you like. So yeah, this is the perfect time. For you to like duck her head down and be like, everyone get out of the way, Mr. President, we've got to get you to the bunker. Yeah, you do yes. that. And while you're doing it, we see the invisible outline of your arcane rune like coming on her back. And you're just like, yeah, what's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> Two birds, <laughs> one stone, bitch. <laughs> yes. Okay, you all make it outside before the cops show up. I run around the side of the building and meet up with all them. Like, ah, oh, that was exhilarating. Why didn't you guys come along? Kidding, kidding. All right, Pierce Jarrell is just like, uh, uh, well, shit, I left my hat inside. And starts running back in there. He's like, I'll what, see uh, you guys uh, later. Uh, Bye. Kalki's uh, like, okay, what do you want with me? I had nothing to do with anything. 
Can I do a sense motive? Yes. What's the purpose of this? Seeing as she did, didn't have anything to do with it. Um, in so far as what she believes she's talking about, yes. She doesn't believe she had anything to do with what she's talking about. Like drugging Captain I'm confused. back in the day. Did, did you go, did you know this woman, Sketch? I just went back up in chat and somebody literally <laughs> gun buddied it. Back from when we were like, are you gonna are you open to that or are you gun buddies? And someone said, gun buddies. <laughs> oh, scourge gone. <laughs> I was like Uh somebody's gonna have to fill me in. We got Scourge back. Uh Scourge, do you know this one? You're gonna have to fill me in. What's that? You're talking this about Kalki. Oh, do I know him? Her. Her, yes. Uh, she was one of the crew on the Wormwood, which is where we started out when we were um, shanghai uh, And amazingly enough, they knocked us out with that cinnamon, whatever poison she's got in her hand. She's like, I had nothing I to do with that. That was Mr. Plug. I think I understand your meaning, but What's a Shanghai? <laughs> <laughs> it's a TNC mm -hmm. uh, cultural reference that you completely a, understand yeah. intrinsically because you <laughs> literally heard any pirate tale ever. Yeah. Yep. All right. <clears throat> it's not like I'm asking you to walk down the road to Tinue after all. Uh -huh. <laughs> no one got that reference all today. Right. That's no, the best not a bit. No. Yep. A Cult bit. Intrinsic <laughs> cultural reference. <clears throat> Google it. So Go to Tinue. You'll understand. Looking right. at you people at home. So anyway, yeah, she was one of the crew members on the ship where we... Uh... So she's still like... Uh, hey, hey word from... what, what do you want to do with me? I'm just trying to get home. Hey, whatever happened to that, Mr. Plug? Um, Did you ever tell me that story? I... He went off with one of the other crew. Um, to start his own ship. And I honestly don't remember. Arthur, maybe help me out here. I just don't remember. He's one of the guys that got killed in the... Over Wimmer the Rebellion. When I got yep. back from the cave. Oh, the crew did kill him? Okay. Yes. I couldn't remember. Well, Captain Ferris had all the women murderly beat him and the other guy to death. Yes, that is what happened. That is what happened. It was pretty brutal. <laughs> and he was like, can I get one? No. <laughs> it was like, denied. See, I watch stuff. You were there. Yeah. It literally happened while you were there. No, I wasn't there for that part. You weren't? I was there after. No. Okay. Atticus Styles came after that. Yeah. So, what are we doing with it then? I don't know. Let me go. Captain that sounds the like Captain, great. I don't know Captain why you're holding me, so maybe you should just let so, me go. Well, so, uh, obviously you were a little bit, uh, concerned when you saw us, and, uh, Figured we would find out why. He's like, well, we I didn't want you to crew, kill me or right? anything. Or we maybe no. hold a woman against her will. Uh, pirates. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I love you saying well. pirates, and she's like, well, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Says the lady holding a cinnamon knockout drink. <laughs> she's like, well, pirates. Hey. <laughs> so... About to Awkward. poison our dear Laris, and he was the only one who didn't notice. Yep. All right. Uh, I will just send her along her way. Wait a minute. She's Before she goes, I detect her. magic on her. She has any magical items? Nope. Okay. Before she winds up in even more serious trouble. Just be careful, my lady. It's very dangerous to go alone.
I got nothing. <laughs> yeah. Is it so? Is anybody stopping her from just leaving? Uh, no, I see no reason so. to. Yeah. Aces, do you at least detect your arcane mark on her back? Oh, that probably pops up, but you know. Yeah. Right. Hey, what are you? What are you doing? <laughs> Hello. Bust out the air horn. <laughs> Camera time. Anyway, time. That's that. Yeah, um. That's that. <laughs> We're all just like, what should we do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, all right. So well. weird. If I open my mouth, she'll put her head in my mouth. Such yeah. a trusting cat. You don't know where that's been. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> so weird. No, I meant the cat. Oh, you know, I know exactly where the cat's been. <laughs> Oh, All right, sure. well, let's go see if we can find Captain What's It and uh, Agrajag, wherever they oh, I'm right crashed here. out yeah, on the other side. Yeah, he's with so you. We're... Oh, Pierce... we're all back together. Yeah, okay. Captain Jarrell went back into the bar to go get his hat. Oh, okay. Well, and he probably it's... left the same way he left. Yeah, obviously he's doing fine. He all probably right, broke uh, the other window. Yeah, we'll thank him for the drink and the good time and hope he enjoyed himself. And... Yeah. Yeah. By the way, Agrajar, do you mind if I arcane mark your bullets? Uh, you can only have one arcane mark at a time, right? Uh, Maybe. No, it's permanently. It's a permanent thing. I don't think arcane mark's permanent. Oh, it is. Oh, well, fuck it. Yeah. May I ask why? Say you tag somebody and they get away. I have a way to track them down. Say they remove the bullets. Yeah. Then they probably had to remove it in the safe house, and that gives us time to track them down. All right. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. All right, but you're put, all right, but you're putting in the time. Yes. All right. So, um, <laughs> th this, uh, keep getting sidetracked. This, this uh, uh, Captain Jarrell, Free Captain Jarrell. Is he uh, have anything going on? He's got any suggestions for us? You know, we're just kind of. I think Jarrell's gone. Yeah, Jarrell's gone. Oh, he did leave. Why? Well, you just said he was here. Okay. No, Jarrell oh, back, back inside. Yeah, Agrajack's here. Yeah, Agrajack's okay. here. All right. Okay. Well, then we'll. Okay, that was great fun. Let's move on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, the next morning, you wake up and uh, there's someone like outside of your ship at like dawn and he's like excuse me is there anyone on board i can speak to i have a letter here for one fishy person it's quite uh, explicit uh something about muscular butt cheeks <laughs> oh yeah yeah that, that, that's fine that that's fine not be me okay that, that's fine that's fine yeah you have a, a letter from Tessa Fairwind, Admiral, Mistress of the City of Kent on Motaku Island, inviting you and the rest of your crew and, uh, well, the rest of your officers to dinner at her townhouse in Port Peril. Port Peril? Yeah, the yeah, town you're currently in. Not on Motaku. Okay. Yes, um, she's inviting you to her oh, townhouse here. here. Okay, yeah. Yes. All right. Oh, that sounds nice. Very gracious invitation. I think we should accept. At the bottom, it says, "Tales of your exploits have impressed me, and I wish to recruit you for a sensitive task." At the recommendation of my good friend, Pierce Terrell. Oh wow! Okay, so meeting up with him did do some do us some good. Then, all right. Um, any preparations we need to do during the day? Uh, we'll send it back with a method with a message that we'll accept. Yeah. Okay. I always do a lifelink on my. Officers, along with the uh, shield leather on the Commodore. Okay. Always expecting trouble, magic uses. Yes. When you arrive at the oh. townhouse, her retainers show you into a window dining hall with a view overlooking Port Perils Harbor, but only the good parts. <laughs> <laughs> As the sun sets, everything looks very orange and uh, pastel colored. There's even some like purpling towards the mountainous regions in the clouds very very beautiful evening and you know she turns toward you all and smiles and says ah yes uh agrajog isn't it and 
Commodore Scourge and Elf Guy and other Elf Guy. <laughs> <laughs> At your service. Yes, it is. So she sits down oh. and, and asks, uh, please, please, uh, enjoy. And she kind of like rings a bell and a feast that wasn't on the table before appears out of nowhere. Nice. And it's got plenty of roasted meats and uh, leafy vegetables. There's fish and uh, what looks to be like some rare insects from various islands around uh, the shackles. And she says, tell me, what do you know of the political situation in the shackles, Commodore? Uh, not not a whole situation? heck of a lot. Um, what? So while she's little, talking to you, she's picture. also playing footsie with Agarjack. <laughs> um, not a whole heck of a lot. I mean, we've only covered the basics so far. We're finding our way around still. It uh... is it possible to play footsie back, or would that be too forward? No, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, we've that met one. a couple of the of the free captains, and we're really just learning our way around. So we really don't much, don't know much about the politics at all. She says, "Well." There are some who say that Kurdak Bonefist's hold over the fictitious pirate lords is not as strong as it might seem to be. Nevertheless, Bonefist Kurdak days are likely numbered, and it could be, some say, perhaps not me publicly, but some say, the time is ripe for those with ambition to start gathering allies. I've also heard from a number of intelligence uh, organizations that Chelyax has designs on the shackles. Even it's being reported in the paper. Have you seen the latest James Jives articles in the Daily Bard? I'm afraid oh, I don't have one with me. No, no, oh. there'll be one next week. There'll be one next week. Oh. But, yeah, you remember that there were constant articles about how there were, you know, increasing Chelish fleet size. Uh, she's like, when the newspaper begins publicly reporting it, that's about when you should start believing it. Yeah, Damn it, Arthur, I was getting so kind of makes, kinda <laughs> makes it common knowledge. Yes, indeed. Uh, well, in that case, uh, alliances would be very wise, and we've certainly come down on the wrong side of uh, Gold Tooth. She smiles mm -hmm. and looks significantly at the camera and says, "Yes, alliances would be very wise." <laughs> and then <laughs> turns away from the camera and stops deadpooling and goes. <clears throat> See me jiggle the gold that one from a uh, gold two for I have it hanged around my neck. <laughs> Wait a minute! If uh, an NPC in the game breaks the fourth barrier, is it squared or multiplied? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's hints of another <laughs> chelish invasion that could result in the shackles being annexed by the Empire. A horrible okay. outcome for all free captains, but especially yes. the pirate lords. I believe there's some truth to these rumors, but I need solid proof before I take it before the Hurricane King and the Pirate Council. Okay. We can't force them to take united action. We're going to have to convince them. So, I can't investigate these rumors myself. Obviously, I'm far too beautiful, but also very <laughs> well known, and I have a number of followers who just... Get, and then she, like, indicates, like, outside her house, and you see people who are, like, paparazziing. But instead of, like, uh, taking pictures, they're, like, making silent images of what she's doing and then holding it there, and then someone else is, like, quickly drawing <laughs> that silent image. <laughs> so it's, like, apprentice really cool. wizards and craftsmen together working in teams. Uh, I need to get an wow. alchemist to invent a camera with film. Good luck. Film is alchemy. Good luck. No, film is chemistry, friend. Literally chemistry, chemistry is alchemy. Chemistry is alchemy not alchemy. Is chemistry. No, oh, no. Is there chemistry? In Everything here? you're saying is wrong. Wait, is there chemistry in Pathfinder? <laughs> there Says is the man who runs the world. How do you think firearms work? Ah, that's cool. Yep. Firearms work off a of craft alchemy check. If that counts for chemistry. Oh my goodness. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, like you're having this silent battle in your head about it, and she's back to talking about important stuff like. The fact that she can't leave Port Peril without needing to maintain her influence and her cover. She yep. requests that you investigate this. This, 
And she looks toward Agrajog and says, As resourceful newcomers, independent of any 